If you've been following me for the last month or so, you know I've been doing some work, a different sort of work with communicating with spirit, rather they're communicating with me. And I've been using, it boiled it down to a Zoom recording. Most of you may be familiar with what Zoom is. And what I do is place multiple tracks on. So everybody who's on the call has a different track. And then I put spirit on the call too. So I give them their own medium to speak to me. I put Zoom, the Zoom call on my computer in one room and on my phone in the other room. So there's two Donna Boyles on the call. And then sometimes a client is there too. A lot of the times I practice just me and spirit, spirit and I. So the other, I noticed something different each time I do this. And what I noticed recently when you're on a Zoom call, and let's say, because what I do is don't allow the Donna Boyle that's on the phone to have camera on. But when someone speaks, that name will flash at the top or the different sort of view you have will highlight. So because I don't have the camera on with the other Donna Boyle, I do it. I just have been seeing, I hear spirit speaking in the other room because that's where they're recording. And then I see at the top of my screen where it says Donna Boyle is talking, the other Donna Boyle in the other room. So I find this very, very interesting and intriguing that I'm learning still so much. I'm not the only one doing this. I'll say that again. There are a lot of people doing this, but um, I don't find them. They're not as vocal, but I want to be vocal. I want you to know that you can hear your loved one's voices through from the world of spirit. I've already done it for a few clients. Um, a woman just heard her, her grandmother. I asked a question and we heard her grandmother say, yes, we both heard it. It's not just coming out of my head. So what happens during one of these readings, if you're interested, is we basically take about 15 minutes and I will read mental mediumship like I normally would do. And every once in a while, I'll stop and ask the loved one to say something. And if they're very vocal, we can actually hear them. Sometimes they're squeaks and blips and static, but there have been times where we've heard the voices and I'm loving this work. Contact me if you're interested.